Nice of you all to come out this early on a Saturday morning. To give you a little bit of the format, it's real simple. We're going to go through about a 25 minute or 30 minute uh, PowerPoint presentation on the 10 biggest mistakes that people make in looking for a job. And then we're going to open it up for questions. Um, I find that that is probably the most important. I will certainly give you lots of things to think about and talk about and then we'll take your questions and we'll go for as long as you would like, okay? Because this is very important to you and it's very important to us. As was mentioned, my name is Tony Bashar. I'm president of Babich and Associates. We are the oldest permanent placement and recruitment firm in the Southwest, founded in 1952 in Fort Worth, Texas. I've been with the firm since 1973. The firm is recognized by the Dallas-Fort Worth Business Journal as the number one placement and recruitment firm in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I am published two books on how to find a job. After we wrote the books, we wrote a 45-hour online program called The Job Search Solution, Everything I've Learned Since 1973 on How to Find a Job. You can go online and find it. Uh, been on the radio, got a new radio program every Monday from 1 to 2 on Guadalupe Radio Network, 9, 10 a.m. on Faith and Work. And the purpose of the show is to talk about how we can incorporate our Catholic faith in our work. So it's just not about finding jobs, but about also um, our Catholic faith and how it affects us in our everyday, uh, everyday uh, work. We spend 24% of our time, not just our waking time, but 24% of our time uh, at work. And if our Catholic faith isn't reflected there, it's not going to be. All right. We're going to go over the top 10 mistakes that people make in looking for a job. We've done that. All right, the first mistake is you don't make looking for a job a job in itself. This has to be a 24 hour a day, seven day a week, 365 day, committed, passionate, failure is not an option approach to looking for a job. I've personally placed more than 7,500 people since 1973 on a one on one basis. I've interviewed 24,000 candidates. The people that wind up getting a job are those that make a passionate, committed, failure is not an option, hell bent for leather, get out and get after it approach to looking for a job. In this market especially, and I've seen seven recessions, you cannot just go tiptoeing around, I'll look into the market. Your competition is going to kill you. Now, the reason that people don't make a committed approach to looking for a job are these. First of all, inertia. It is just as easy to stay where you are as it is to get out and look for a job. We're going to discuss it, but looking for a job ain't fun. I interviewed a guy on, well, he called on the radio station the other day. He said, gee whiz, I've been looking for a job for a month. I knew six months ago I was going to get laid off. I got laid off last month, and now I'm starting to look for a job. Huh? You knew it six months ago. Come on. So inertia. People don't like doing it, so they just don't. The next thing is they don't know what to do. Boy, we cover that in the books and the online program. What to do, step by step. We'll get to that in a minute. It's hard to get passionate when you're afraid. When you're operating out of fear of loss rather than vision of gain, you're scared, and it's hard to get excited and get passionate when you're afraid. And then, even though we're all afraid, the average 40-year-old in the United States has changed jobs 10 times. The average job in the United States lasts two and a half to three years. Whether you like it or not, that's the way it's going to be. The idea of career employment is a thing of the past. Now, later on, if anybody's interested, I can go into the whole reason of why that is. It does have to do with technology. It does have to do with the global marketplace. But every two and a half years, you better get used to it. Now, the second big mistake that people make is they don't develop a systematic approach to looking for a job. They don't sit down and write goals and intentions. They'll plan their vacation more than they will plan looking for a job. They'll wake up and say, well, I guess I'll go to look for a job. What do I do? I read a thing the other day where it said 69% of a 
of a whole group of like 6,000 job seekers were asked what they did. 69% of them did two things, called their friends and relatives and sent resumes on the inter over the internet and then stopped. Oh my goodness, no, no, no. They don't write out daily plans. If you go into my programs, I mean, I talk about getting up at 5.30 in the morning and planning every half hour of your job search. Every half hour or every hour, whether you have a job or whether you don't have a job. You've got to plan and then you've got to work the plan. You've got to recognize that this is a numbers game. If you walk out of here today and the only thing you learn is that this is a numbers game. It's numbers of calls, numbers of presentations, numbers of interviews, numbers of follow-up. It is numbers, numbers, numbers. You've got to recognize that and then you've got to approach it from a systematic way, keep records of what you do and how you do it over a period of time. Process, process, process. Just like John Wooden said, if you focus on what you know how to do, you don't have to worry about the score. Too many times people wake up, I got to find a job. It's like looking at the elephant and thinking I got to eat it all in one bite. If you focus on the process and you manage the process, the result is going to take care of itself. You don't have to worry about getting a job if you focus on all of the steps that are involved in getting a job. It's simple. Now, I didn't say it was easy. This is the process. You've got to find an employer with pain. That is an employer that needs to hire somebody. You need to get an initial interview with that person. You need to get follow-up interviews with that person and you need to sell yourself really, really, really hard. You need to go back to secondary and follow-up interviews selling yourself you need to get a job offer and then you need to negotiate that job offer. Now this is really, really, really simple, but it's really hard to do.